Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and today I'm making unicorn pop. So almost everything I have here is from Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this treat and make a lot of money at your next bake sale. So the ingredients are a bag of bugles. Now these kind of look like unicorn horns. So that's why it's unicorn pop. So I got a very big bag at Walmart. Pretzels, you don't need a bag this big, but my kids will polish this off. Some chocolate chips. I did get the extra butter pop, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this popping in the microwave. Now, I bought these at the 99 cents only store, but you can get marshmallows just like this in colors at Walmart. So these I thought were really fun. They kind of also resemble a unicorn horn. I also picked up my bags for packaging them at Walmart and some pink melting chocolate. So this is in the party section over by where you can find things to make cakes like extracts and sprinkles and it's really easy to use you just pop it in your microwave and it melts down really quickly so we're going to use this to drizzle our unicorn pop so i'll be right back with some popped popcorn all right guys we're back now this is five bags of microwave popcorn I let it cool down and I have this butcher paper down as a large surface to work on. You can use parchment paper, any kind of clean surface. Just make sure your popcorn is cool because we are gonna be working with chocolate chips and we don't really want the chocolate chips to melt. We want the colored chocolate to be our drizzle. So just spread it out, make sure it's nice and cool and then we're gonna start adding in our other items. Pretzels are first. And you can use as many or as few as you want. We're gonna give it a good mix once we get everything together as well. And you can see why you need a really big surface to do this. Now this is something that you could add to or take away from. You could definitely make it your own. You could even make it into mermaid pop by substituting the things that look like unicorn horns for something like Swedish, Swedish fish. Next is our bugles. Now if you're not familiar with bugles, they're a sort of corn chip, like a Frito, from a long time ago when I was a kid. And that's what they look like. So they definitely have a unicorn horn shape. So this is a salty and sweet treat. It sells really well at bake sales. And I'm not much of a baker, so this is a way for me to contribute something that I know is gonna sell and not have to bake. Now, everything is cool and I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on the marshmallows. Now, like I said, these are from the 99 cent store. They're really cute. And um, you could definitely substitute these for the colored marshmallows that you can find in pretty much any grocery store. Gonna go ahead and make sure those are spread around really well. I have two bags of those. They cost me 99 cents each. And mix it in. Wanna make sure that each bag has the same amount of popcorn and pretzels and marshmallows. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna add in chocolate chips. And that's why you really don't want your popcorn to be hot because it can become very messy. It's going to get a little messy with our drizzled white chocolate, but for that, we're gonna let it dry before we manipulate it, crack it up and make it into batches. And just give it a really good mix so that when 
you get a batch, you're gonna see a little bit of everything in there. And I think we need more chocolate. So this bag of chocolate chips is just semi-sweet. It's from Walmart and it was $2. My pretzels, because it was such a large bag, was also $2. The pack of popcorn was $3. And the bugles, I think, was also $3, but I got the big one because I wanted to have some. So now we're gonna just start to melt our pink chocolate in the microwave. All right. Now I did add in one more bag of popcorn just to fill it out and the rest of the pretzels. Now the directions on how to melt the chocolate in the microwave are right there on the back. So I already have them melted per instructions in a plastic bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up with a fork and then we're just gonna drizzle them on the top of our popcorn. I've just melted the second half of the chocolate. I do find with that size bag, it's much better to melt it in half of the bag at a time, just so that you don't scorch it. It can be tricky, so that's what I do. So here's the second half. I'm just gonna drizzle it all over. We're gonna mix it up really good. And then we're going to add the magic. for the magic rainbow sprinkles you can pick these up pretty much any store I have the lid completely off and this is going to stick to the chocolate that is pink now we're also going to be adding some pink sprinkles but these are the little balls so I'm gonna add these into the bags individually when I package them now it's time to bag our popcorn. I get these by Wilton's at Walmart. You get 120 for $4.99, and the good thing is they're pleated, so you can really fill them up. I'm just gonna use a disposable plastic cup. Make sure that you scoop from the bottom so that you get your chocolate chips into your mix and that you're constantly stirring it around so that there's a good mix of everything. And now I'm actually gonna add a few more sprinkles right into my bag and some pink. You just go ahead and twist it up and put a ribbon on it and it's ready to sell. And that's all there is to it. Our unicorn popcorn or unipop is all packaged, ready to be sold at our bake sale. And I didn't have to bake. These will definitely sell out and be popular with all the kids on Instagram. Just go ahead and add whatever color ribbon you like to the top. You could add a couple of colors. And remember, you could always switch it up, add some Swedish goldfish, and make this into mermaid pop. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I make this no-bake treat. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back very soon in the next video.